Have you ever wondered how miners stay safe while working deep underground? The answer lies in the intricate world of underground mine support. This complex system ensures the stability and safety of mining operations, mitigating risks such as cave-ins, gas leaks, and other hazards. It's a fascinating blend of engineering prowess, advanced technology, and stringent safety protocols. But what exactly goes into this vital system? Let's delve deeper into the various components that make up an effective underground mine support system. Imagine standing beneath a mountain, with tons of rock overhead. How do miners ensure it doesn't come crashing down? This is where ground control comes in. A comprehensive system of techniques and technologies that stabilize the walls and roofs of underground mines. Key elements of ground control include rock bolting, shot creating, and meshing. But let's focus on roof bolting for a moment. Roof bolting is a process that involves drilling holes into the mine's roof and inserting long steel bolts. These bolts work like the skeleton of a building, providing crucial support and preventing roof collapses. They are the backbone, holding the heavy weight of the rock overhead, ensuring the mine remains a safe working environment. Each bolt is strategically placed, anchoring the rock layers together, creating a stable arch of support over the mine workings. This intricate network of steel creates a safer environment for miners, keeping the mountain overhead, where it belongs. Ground control and roof bolting are two crucial elements in maintaining the stability of a mine. Now let's talk about other methods to reinforce the mine's structure. Shotcrete, a high-pressure application of concrete or mortar, is often used to bolster walls and ceilings. Think of it as a protective shell, stopping loose material from dropping and maintaining stability. Meshing, on the other hand, serves a similar purpose but in a slightly different way. It's a wire mesh used to reinforce areas where loose or unstable rock might exist. Like a net, it catches and contains falling rock, adding an extra layer of support and safety. Then there are ground support systems. Imagine the steel sets and wooden cribs as the bones of the mine. They prevent rock movement, ensuring the mine's structure stays in place. These methods, though different, work together like a well-oiled machine, each one playing a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the mine. These techniques are like the skeleton of the mine, providing the necessary support to keep it intact. Underground, the air isn't as fresh as it is up here, right? That's why ventilation is so crucial in underground mining. It's all about maintaining air quality by removing harmful gases and fumes. Picture a network of fans, ductwork and ventilation shafts working in harmony to ensure that the miners can breathe safely while they work. And speaking of work, let's not forget about the immense pressure the rock structures are under. This is where rock reinforcement comes into play. Can you imagine inserting rock bolts and cable bolts into these structures to prevent them from shifting or failing? That's exactly what happens, providing that much-needed support and stability. The world of underground mining may be out of sight, but it's far from simple. It's a delicate balancing act of managing air quality and maintaining structural integrity. Proper ventilation and rock reinforcement are vital in maintaining a safe and stable underground environment. What happens when things go wrong, you may ask? Well, in the realm of underground mining, that's where the importance of monitoring and instrumentation come into play. These tools and technologies provide a constant pulse on the mine's health, detecting potential issues such as ground movement, air quality fluctuations, or surges in gas levels. It's like having a vigilant guardian, always on the lookout for any signs of trouble. But monitoring is only part of the equation. To ensure safety, we also need robust emergency response planning. This involves having clear procedures for evacuations, rescue operations, and communication systems. It's about being prepared for any eventuality, because in an emergency, every second counts. Lastly, none of these measures would matter if not for regulatory compliance. Adherence to local and national mining regulations and safety standards is paramount. Regular inspections, diligent reporting, and following specific guidelines for mine support are non-negotiables. In the world of underground mining, Preparation, monitoring and compliance are key to ensuring a safe working environment. Lastly, let's talk about the role of geotechnical studies. 
These are key in understanding the geological conditions of a mine. By analyzing the mine's environment, we can assess potential risks and determine the most effective methods of support. This could involve choosing between rock bolting or shotcreting, or it might dictate the need for specific ground support systems. Ultimately, these studies guide the application of engineering and technology in the mine. Underground mine support is a fascinating combination of engineering, technology, and safety protocols, all working together to keep miners safe as they extract valuable resources from beneath our feet.